The 31st year in Kalamazoo, the 38th annual Street Rod Nationals North happens starting tomorrow. All the street rods will be on display at the Kalamazoo County Expo Center and Fairgrounds. And Jim Rollett's back from the uh, Street Rod Nationals Association to talk to us a little about that. Hi, Jim. Hey, good to be back in Michigan. I'm telling you, this is fun. Nice and cool. Yep, it is cool, isn't it? Last year was 86 on this date, and so uh, it might be a little bit more like uh, Texas weather uh, last year than this year which is where you right. come from. This is more like the dead of winter in Texas. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. That's right. Which means uh, we won't invite you back in February. <laughs> Unless you really want to. <laughs> I hear you. But uh, we're looking for a great weekend this weekend. Uh, a lot of things going on at, at the uh, Kalamazoo County Fairgrounds and Expo Center. You know, just uh, all we need is some more folks. Right. And uh, let's see if we can't work that out. But uh, 31 years coming to Kalamazoo, 38 years for uh, the Street Rod Nationals, and these cars come from all over. They're from all over the all over the country. Of course, the majority of them are from this part of the this part of the country. But I know uh, I was out in the parking lot last night, and there's a car in from Arkansas. So okay. you know, uh, and last year we drove in from Texas with the 37, and a buddy of mine from Arkansas came. So. People do make a vacation time and and uh, come up and enjoy this part of the country, and it's a uh, it's a beautiful time. We're looking for probably around twenty one, twenty two hundred cars uh, at the fairgrounds this wow. weekend. Twenty two hundred uh, with the weather like it is, it may be even bigger. Oh my gosh! Can you imagine? So I spend a fair amount of time with original cars and uh those of us in that category get a little jittery about driving our cars far away the street rods this is a whole other viewpoint they are made to cruise they're they're designed uh, street rod is defined as a pre-1949 vehicle that's defined for uh, this uh, designed for today's highways they're upgraded have tilt cruising air and all the creature comforts you know uh, <laughs> suspension wise and late model motors and and uh, those kind of things but you know, we do, uh, we enjoy seeing the, uh, the antiques or restored cars. Uh, we're motorheads, you know, we, we like them all. Uh, mm-hmm. we opened this event a couple of years ago to a rolling date, 30 years. So now we have not only street rods, which was the basis for the event forever, but, uh, we now have the, uh, classic cars from the fifties and sixties. We have muscle cars from the sixties and seventies and a little something for everybody. Yeah. I, you know, it's really exciting. Yeah, it is interesting because um, more and more now, even though there are exclusive categories for shows like this, uh, there are a lot of times when some folks will just open up to other categories, too, just for an opportunity to, you know, rub elbows with folks who have similar interests, but maybe a little different. A little different, and, it, you know, it's, uh, I've told a guy several times, you know, we, we need to introduce folks to... Uh, 32 Fords and, and those kind of things. You yep. see them on the highway, but as a car owner, if you have a late model car, you may not uh, really know what a 32 is or be able to look at them up close. And and uh, that's the fun part. And I tell everybody, it's like a family reunion with cars out there. You yep. know, we get together and talk to each other and, and share stories. But uh, the key is every car has a story. I don't care, you know, what it is. It may not be a real intriguing story, but everyone has a story, and the owners are willing to talk to you about them, and that makes it fun. That is the truth, and, uh, and when we're talking about a, a street rod that has undergone a, a massive transformation in some cases, uh, there's quite a story. So the, the fun part about this is you could drive down, I don't know, Sprinkle Road today or something, and you'll be seeing them coming in. They're already here or, you know, stop at a restaurant. There'll be a couple of them in the parking lot. Sure. Folks are raring to go, aren't they? Oh, yeah, they're they're here. I, I tell everybody, you know, we're one of the few conventions that can't sneak into town. You know, <laughs> right. Everybody knows we're here when we get here. But, you know, it's a, it's a unique opportunity to, to see some cars in the hotel parking lots or the uh, restaurants or whatever. But, uh, you know, I encourage folks to go out to the, the Expo Center and the Fairgrounds, uh, because you'll see the whole thing there. And it, you don't get the whole flavor no, of right. the event if you're just seeing them on the highway every once in a while. You know, give an opportunity to look at them up close and, and have some fun. I'll bet there are times when some uh, street rod uh, folks are out at restaurants or something and they end up 
with people following them over to the show. <laughs> <laughs> See where, what's going on. Follow yeah. that guy. Follow that guy. He'll take you over there. So what's a uh, what's a, a car that sticks out in your mind with a story that uh, that you recall about what's happened to that car? Well, you know, we've got, uh, we talked earlier, second, third generation now yeah. uh, with cars that uh, granddad bought or dad had or, or whatever it might be. Uh, we've got some at home that I know very well, you know, in Texas and, and I'm sure it's the same here. I mean, there are cars that, uh, for whatever reason, uh, granddad bought and kept, and then, you know, it went on from there. Uh, I saw a deal the other day on a, uh, on a model A it happened to be a restored car, but, uh, granddad had bought it and then dad had it. And then the grandson had it. Wow. And, uh, and I tell people, you know, you got to really know how to drive on those cars. Uh, I have you know. done that driving school over at the Gilmore Car Museum. They gave me the certificate, but I don't know if I really earned it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it is a spark advance and all yes. that. Yes. Kind of oh, yeah. You yes. Gotta... It's like patting your head and rubbing your stomach at the same time. And, you know, uh, it, it is, uh, if you know it, you know it. If you don't, it might take a while to learn it. <laughs> it might take a while. Hey, we have folks that have a hard time shifting gears. I don't well, you know. But uh, I might resemble okay. that too. I don't know. We'll see. What, whatever it takes, you know. So when we talk about uh, someone who might want to get into this hobby, and they they want to um, restore a street rod and and make it comparable to those you'll see at this show, you know, they got to find a car first and then go through the process. Uh, how long does that generally take? If somebody really dedicates themselves, it, it really depends. I I've got a thirty eight Chevrolet that. Uh, that I actually bought in the fall of the year in 82 and uh, put it in the first car show in the spring of 83. Mm -hmm. We built it over a winter. Right away. And I mean, yeah. it was a project, and we had several of the guys in our car club that were, uh, they were really jamming to get it done. <laughs> and uh, we literally put the grill in it at the car show before it opened, you know, trying, <laughs> <laughs> trying to get it ready. So it wasn't completely done. But we have guys that will spend 10, 12 years, yeah. you know, trying to get it done. And one of the challenges, if you wait, if you take that long, okay, mm -hmm. the trends change. Uh, so right. you get to a certain point and say, well, that's not, that's not in anymore. Let's change that, you know. so That is interesting. As we indicated, these are 1949 and older vehicles, and they are modernized. So what is a, a trend or two that's impressing you right now that we're seeing in these kinds of modifications well it's it's kind of fun you start looking at the street rod side of course we include all the other cars as well but on the street rod side i, I think uh, even into the 50s and 60s uh the old uh, patina you know uh, we found it in a garage well they're not all of them are found in a garage but they're starting to make them look like they're old that is interesting you know? yeah and uh you know went through the kind of a rat rod phase they don't like to call them rat rods they call them traditional rods mm -hmm. but to make them look like they're about to fall down <laughs> but still be safe enough you know to drive and uh you know so you go through trends uh for years it was chrome and then it became billet aluminum and then it became you know uh back to a chrome era and then it's you know so uh you know it's uh there's a rod run, I think, out in California that's no billet, you know. Oh. Uh, if you've got billet aluminum on your car, they just soon you not come. But, <laughs> I mean, it's, you know. Sorry, turn but, around. But everybody's <laughs> everybody's got their deal. But the trends change. And I know for years it was, let's put a, a 350 turbo transmission automatic. Mm -hmm. and then let's do 700R because it's got overdrive. Well, wait a minute, let's put a six-speed a six transmission in you know so we start shifting again now, yes. you know it's i mean it's all over the board it's funny how that works and uh, how these things um, change in terms of what's favored and what isn't and that's your point if you wait too, too long to get your car together <laughs> things are going to change things have changed and, and of course <laughs> paints have have changed tremendously and you know always use the uh, henry ford thing it, you know if you can have any color you want as long as it's black mm -hmm. and uh, he got real creative and had some olive green at yeah. one time <laughs> but uh, now, I mean, it's every color under the rainbow, combination colors and uh, different paints. And it really is a, a unique hobby. So how much does a person spend? You know, is there a median amount that you see uh, or hear about a lot that folks can expect to spend? Buy the car, restore the car? Well, it, it all depends. My my uh, 
pat answer for that is how long is a piece of string? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It just depends on what you want to do. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I think the average is about 28,000. That's kind of what we're figuring on the cars that are there yeah. this weekend. Okay. Which means about $70 million worth of cars. Oh, my gosh. And, uh, you know, it just, it truly is amazing. But you can spend uh, as little or as much as you care to spend. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, we've got a buddy that run, won the Riddler Award several years ago in Detroit. A little over $2 million in a 39 Oldsmobile convertible. Oh, my gosh. But, $2 million. But, you know, if you're, if you're paying somebody to do the work and, you, and you're and you doing a lot of modifications, you run into a lot of money. Mm-hmm. But you can get a car, you know. Uh, the challenge is you can't start with a 32 High Boy. <laughs> you yeah, know, necessarily. Right. You're going to have a lot of money. But uh, It's interesting. Uh, I wonder if that's easier than... Uh, trying to keep a car, quote, original. If you just know you're going to just do the whole thing, then you know there's no stopping. Uh, I tend to look at some original cars and say, okay, well, you could just change this one little thing or fix this little thing, and then all of a sudden your mind is falling toward a bunch of other dominoes that are tipping over it. Well, then there's that and this and that. Next thing you know, <laughs> well, <laughs> i got this whole list. I was Stop. I was talking to one of the guys in the Model A Club, and... Uh, he said, well, I like have it original. And I said, well, that's cool. He said, but I did put an alternator on my car. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. <laughs> you know, it's not original anymore. Right, that's you right. Know? And some of them have air conditioning. You know, they, they modify them to, for the creature comforts. That's right. And it's technically still a Model A, still a rig- original type car. But, you know, uh, very few of them are totally original. Right. There's something's been done. Something's been changed. Yeah. So with the street rods, you don't have to worry about that. Don't it's worry about it. All Just change changed. and go for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the and the unique part is they will take cars that a lot of restorers would not worry with. Mm-hmm. You know, they wouldn't they wouldn't take the time to restore it. Right. But a street rod guy will, you know, he'll channel it and section it and you know, chop it and do all kinds of things and make it go. Yeah. And that is a cool thing too. And you can see all of that this weekend at the Kalamazoo County. Uh, Expo Center and Fairgrounds, which actually starts this weekend, means starting tomorrow. tomorrow. What's the agenda, Jim? What can folks expect to see, just quickly? Well, gates open at 8 o'clock on Friday and Saturday, 8.30 on Sunday. Uh, the gates stay open till 5. And uh, so you can come out and see the cars. In addition to that, you see the arts and crafts area we call Women's World. Uh, <laughs> I think they're in three buildings now. I mean, it's oh growing tremendously. And uh, the swap, the swap meet, old car parts, uh, gently used old car parts, a uh, huge swap meet out there. So if you need stuff, that's the place to be, you know. And of course, the commercial exhibitors selling automotive related parts. If you need wheels or or any of that kind of thing, uh, you know, we have folks out there selling them. Mm-hmm. If you want to update the lighting on your car, you know, we have the guys out there that are selling uh, the LED lighting and all that kind of stuff for late model. For every, you know, every oh, kind I of see. car. So, yeah, okay. You know, it's not strictly just street rods. It's it's the restored cars as well. So uh, a little something for everybody. Uh, we have a lot of fun. There's some kids games, and, and we have uh, our DJ plays music all weekend long, so you can groove on some tunes and just look at cars and have a big time. All right, so that's at the uh, Kalamazoo County uh, Expo Center in Fairgrounds. How do we get the tickets, Jim? Tickets are available at the gate. Uh Adults fifteen dollars, children six to twelve six dollars, and five and under are free when accompanied by an adult. Now we do offer special discount to our seniors sixty and over two dollars off the adult ticket, and also our military two dollars off. And uh, if you want to jump out and go to O'Reilly Auto Parts, you can buy advanced tickets two dollars off the adult price. Okay. Uh, before you get to the fairground, so. Uh, Hey, there's no reason not to come. I don't think you can do it in one day, so uh, plan on spending a couple of days. All right. The 38th Annual Street Rod Nationals North at Kalamazoo County Fairgrounds and Expo Center starts tomorrow. So you came up from Texas. Uh, how are things down there in, in, uh, in the wake of this big storm? Well, we're we're doing well. Of course, we're north uh, up in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, so okay. we got a little bit of rain, but we didn't get anything Houston got. But, right. Uh, the Gulf Coast was in pretty bad shape. Uh, it's going to be a long, uh, long-term uh, revitalization down there. Uh, our son lived down in lives down in Cyprus, which uh, they got some water close, but they didn't get they didn't get flooded. So Boy. we thank thank the good Lord for that. And, right. And uh, we just got to keep in prayers to the folks in Florida because it looks like they're going to get hit. So uh, right here comes the next one now. You know, we're just 
We're glad we're in Kalamazoo this weekend and not in Tampa. <laughs> well, we are glad you are, too. And really, I think you and I have been talking for at least 10 years, so it's nice to see you again, and welcome back. Hey, thank you. It's good to be back always. Jim Rollette, 38th Annual Street Rod Nationals North at the Kalamazoo County Expo Center in Fairgrounds. We'll talk next year. There you go.